It can be hard to put together a good one-shot or adventure. You've got multiple pages of notes, multiple character sheets, and you're planning for those moments when your players inevitably derail you. Sometimes you just want to feel like Tony Stark. Have that Jarvis-style visual representation of everything in front of you. And that's where Whiteboards comes in, a tool that lets you plan and see your adventure in full. So let's have a look at how you can use Whiteboards to plan your next game. Every GM has their own preferences for designing adventures, but at the very least you want to prepare several scenes and some NPCs. Use the text tool or the rectangle tool and type a single short sentence for your opening scene. If you're struggling, head down to the comments below and try to formulate your opening scene or draw some inspiration from the suggestions already down there. From there, start sketching out the rest of your scenes. Since this is a one-shot or short adventure, avoid branching paths as much as you can. Once you have a basic structure, it'll probably look something like this. Sure, it's basic, but it's solid. So now it's time to spruce it up. Even if you use theater of the mind and don't give your players a battle map, it's important for you as the GM to know where things are. This helps you create more immersive and consistent descriptions. Of course, you could go hunting for maps, but why not just do a quick design right here in whiteboards? Use the pencil tool for freehand drawing or enable the grid to be more precise and do a couple of rough sketches. They don't need to be perfect, just a quick reference for you during the game. This is how it might look. And remember, dungeon maps don't even have to be, well, actual maps. Dungeons are essentially a collection of linked locations, and if you're using Theatre of the Mind, you can use whiteboards to plan these out and stop you getting lost in your own dungeon. Instead of plotting out scenes, just plot out rooms in your dungeon. I recommend numbering them so you can quickly reference them and then link them to a separate article with full descriptions, stat blocks for traps and monsters, and details of that hidden loot we love so much. Now let's talk relationships. Ah, they're a great way to instill emotion and drama into your adventure. What's the relationship, for example, between the main NPCs and your party? And what about between the NPCs themselves? Start by embedding the character articles for your NPCs in the whiteboard using the green plus button. Then use arrows in different colors to show how friendly a character is to someone else. If social interaction isn't important for your game, just connect the NPCs to the different scenes so you can reference at a glance who'll be there to meet the party. If you're writing a one-shot or short adventure, you'll want to keep the players on track and they can have a tendency to wander off. Take a look at potential derailing moments in your adventure or places your players might subvert or avoid story-critical encounters. For each of these, create a contingency plan to lure the players back on track and add it to the whiteboard. This might be an NPC, a ticking clock, or a sudden catastrophe that nudges them towards the finishing line. You can use these moments to up the stakes too, to make your adventure even more exciting. Of course, even the best GMs make mistakes, so make sure you double check everything before running your game. You can also pin any other reference materials you might need. Stat blocks, description read-alouds, additional rules, or loot tables. Then open the digital storyteller screen on World Anvil and get ready to have the game of your life. Well, you guys are prepped to get prepped, so grab your hammer and go world build.